Apparently I was pretty excited about this trip because every time I would casually mention it to someone, they would point out that I had already mentioned it several times. My wife, my friends, my parents, my neighbors, my barber, the guy who delivers my groceries. I was so excited that I did a test run of setting up my tent in the living room six times. The point of the trip, if there is ever really any point to a motorcycle trip beyond, you know, riding a motorcycle, was to visit the most westerly and northerly points in Britain. The video for the northern section will come later, and earlier this summer I also visited the most southerly and easterly points, but I didn't create videos for those because I just didn't. So you'll have to read about them on themotorcycleobsession.com. Anywho, the most westerly point in mainland Britain is Ardnamurchan Lighthouse. It was built in 1849 and sits on the edge of an isolated peninsula in the Scottish Highlands. According to Google Maps, it's 540 miles away from my house in Penarth, Wales, but my actual route was even longer. Well, the uh, road to uh, Britain's most westerly point actually starts with my going east to West Sussex, which is a county in southern England where my wife's best friend lives. Uh, she's just had a baby, my wife's best friend, not, not my wife. And uh, I'm heading there to uh, see the baby, eat well, drink well, hang out with friends, and that kind of thing. So I'm actually not heading to Scotland, which is where the westerly point is, uh, until Monday. But um, got the bag or the uh, bike all packed up, and I just stopped to do a quick gear check. Uh, probably should have done that a little bit sooner than mile 60, but such as my faith in Krieger gear. And uh, it was holding up okay, but I did need to tighten some stuff up. Um, so yeah. It's, uh, it's all going well. I, uh, I removed the fairing on the bike uh, so that I could put a bag there um, and because I thought it looked cool. And, uh, and so far it's working out pretty well. You know, it surprises me how much I love this bike. I mean, I, it shouldn't surprise me, really, because I've written a lot about how much I like the Sport Glide and how much I like Harley Davidson in general. I mean, you know, if anybody wants to sit and listen to it, I'll, I'll sit and tell them how, how good these bikes are, which is, I'll admit, a pretty strong 180 from a, an attitude that I held you know, I guess about seven years ago or something. Um, although, in fairness, that attitude was really being... It was memories of a culture that existed uh, in my teen years. And um, that culture still exists to some extent, but it, uh, it's really dying out. And... Uh, the people that I meet who actually own Harleys now are often really, really cool. Uh, uh, cooler than me, at least. Uh, which is saying something, because I'm fucking awesome. But also, that's not what Harley makes. You know, the stuff that comes out of Harley Davidson's factory, it's not culture, it's motorcycles. Um, and the motorcycles that they make are awesome. So awesome, I can overtake on a hill. I just love them. I mean, you know, if you're the kind of person who wants to go 200 miles an hour or, you know, you, you need to go off-road, that's what motorcycling is to you, then yeah, you know, Harley's probably not your choice. But if you're like me and you connect with motorcycles and motorcycles give you an opportunity to kind of travel around and connect with the environment and feel like you're a part of it uh, rather than just sort of observing it then Harleys are are amazing amazing motorcycles and it and it stuns me 
how true that is every single time I get on one of the bikes. Like every single time I get on a Harley, and especially this bike, I'll I'll just be like, oh, holy shit, I was telling the truth, <laughs> you know? <laughs> All those articles I was writing, I wasn't bullshitting. That was actually true. I, these are amazing, and and it, it almost feels like unhealthy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like I might have some issues. <laughs> you know, like, uh, you ever watch Great British Pottery Throwdown? I can't remember what the name of that show is. You probably don't. That's that's probably not, uh, you know, a, a demographic for motorcycles is watching pottery shows, but I do. And there's this guy named Keith who's the one of the presenters and judges of uh, Great Pottery Throwdown. And when he sees pottery that, that, that's really good, he will start crying. He'll just start uncontrollably weeping. He's this big man, and you just think, there's something wrong with this dude. Like, he's got issues. He, this guy needs therapy. And that, that kind of intensity of emotion is what I feel when I ride around uh, on this bike and it's just <laughs> it's ridiculous and I just sometimes I'm just sitting here and I'm like I just want to cry because I'm enjoying myself so much Well, it's uh, Monday. It's actually a nicer day than it was forecast to be, so I'm not going to put on my uh, waterproofs just yet. Uh, the bike is all packed up. It's just a little bit past uh, 7 a.m., and I have about 380 miles to go today, so it's going to be mostly on motorway, and it's going to mostly suck. Today was a campsite in Kielder Forest, about two miles from the England-Scotland border. Traveling up the M23, the M25, the M1, and A1M, amongst other roads through London, Leeds, and Newcastle, I didn't get to the site until pretty late in the day. I had to rush to set up my tent and make dinner, not actually eating until after dark. I didn't get a chance to film anything, but the campsite was beautiful, and I fell asleep listening to the sound of a nearby creek. In the middle of the night, however, I began to hear raindrops. Oh, 
there's water on the... <laughs> there's water on this. Hold on. Alright. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm up. And it is raining pretty heavily. And uh, I, I don't think I'm going to try to take down the tent until it, it stops raining. So I'm just waiting for a, a lull. And I've discovered that my tent has uh, a fair few leaks. I guess that's not surprising, because the tent is like uh, 16 or 17 years old. It's a good tent, just just a little bit leaky. Um, got this tent uh, many years ago because uh, I had these visions of uh, hiking the Superior Hiking Trail and then eventually doing the Pacific Crest Trail. Uh, well, actually, I didn't buy the tent. My ex-wife bought it with her student loan money. So thanks, Rachel. I'm thinking about uh, possibly... I've got like vents up here that I can open up. I've got a lot of ventilation, so I'm thinking about maybe trying to cook in the tent. Uh, despite the fact that there's a very large warning that says keep all flame and heat sources away from, from this tent fabric. What could go wrong? <laughs> hey, ducks. How you doing, ducks? How you doing? hanging out enjoying the weather nice weather for ducks well I've decided to uh, abandon the idea of making food because the the rain hasn't let up and uh, similarly I've decided I'm not going to shower today because I don't want to put a wet towel uh, into my bag and then have to deal with that later so I'm grubby and I'm hungry and I'm wet <laughs> this is, uh, we're having a good time. Well, I was uh, lamenting the fact that uh, I didn't get a shower today, and uh, nature provides. Um, it's it's not going to stop raining. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Big old puddles. Yikes! Oh no! Oh no! I've got. I've got water in my boot. There we go. Scotland. Welcome to it. Looks like it. Feels like it. Yeah, man. I get some water out of my boot here. Tuesday saw me riding through Storm Francis, which brought heavy rain and winds of up to 80 miles per hour to most of the UK. My plan for the day was to travel to Fort William in the Scottish Highlands and camp there for two nights. But with rain set to fall in the area for another day or so and my gear completely soaked from my night at Kielder, I decided to call an audible and text my friend Cam, who lives near Stirling. The famous Scottish trait of hospitality came into full effect and he and his wife were willing to welcome me with only an hour's notice. So I've uh, taken over a child's room at uh, Cam's house, and um, it was a good decision. It was a good decision to ask if I could stay here. I'm really, really thankful that uh, Cam and his wife and his family were able to uh, take me on as a guest at pretty short notice um, and also tolerate the fact that all of my stuff is just everywhere because it's soaked it was soaked it's drying out now um, and, uh, and I think it was a good decision to, to come here because um, it is heavily raining up in Fort William where I was supposed to be camping right now um, uh, so I would have set up a tent a wet tent in the rain and 
I would be right now freezing and miserable and grumpy. And instead, uh, tomorrow I get to, you know, head out with dry stuff and uh, and try again. We're supposed to be singing as we leave, aren't we? We're supposed to be what? Now? Singing. 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 Yeah. Why? Why? That's that's what your neighbor said. We're supposed to sing. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Da 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 da! Come on! Da 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 da! Da 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 da! Yeah! I like about Scotland is uh, it looks good in the rain like it looks beautiful and majestic yes yeah. you know like in uh, in Wales it's just sadness it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I think Scotland and Ireland are similar like that like when it rains in Ireland it feels very similar to here yeah but yeah when I was in the, when I was in the rain when I was down visiting you that day I went out to see uh, Turotech yeah Fucking hell, man. <laughs> that was... That was arduous. the problem with the GoPro can't can't see yourself that's probably good for me I don't need to see myself it's unfortunate for you because you can't see me but anyway over my shoulder there that's a Ardnamurchan what lighthouse uh, this is Britain's most westerly point it's been a very long ride to get up here uh, wet and cold and now the Sun has come out it doesn't even feel like it it was raining at all today so it's just it's just beautiful. It's a great way to finish finish the day. Well, the day's not finished. Um, I've got uh, some more riding to do today, but that's a different story. It's vitally important that we have cake. <laughs> cake and tea. It's the fuel that runs Britain. Come on. <laughs> God save the Queen. To the Queen! To the Queen! <laughs>